as hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. I thought that was a real person. Yo, Pots, what'd you get over there? Jerk chicken, some dirty rice, veggies. What is that, cotto? A little avocado? Some carrots? Is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's like zucchini squash. How hungry are you right now? I'm actually really hungry. All right, initial thoughts on Belize? Go. Go. It really go. Okay, hmm? done and done. All right. That's three beers now, three different places that have done this. Why do they do this? So that you can wipe the top of your own bottle and make sure it's nice and clean. I like that. It's kind of stuck in there now. I can't do it one-handed. But that's, it's just so you can give it a little, uh, little wipe down. I'm down. Look at this guy! Come here, buddy! Jump up! You wanna jump up? Come here! Oh, hi! Look at this guy just hanging out! You are such a nice pup! Oh my gosh, this is like the kindest dog! He walked up the stairs, tail wagging like crazy, made eye contact with me, I said, hey buddy, and he just walked right over! Night one, down! Crushed it. Walking from coffee now, trying to find stuff in this amazing. This is so cool. Like, I have not seen anything like this in my life. It's really windy. It's very different. Me and Potts are over here, just doing our thing. Golf carts everywhere. Nothing's open. It's like 7 a.m. and we just don't care. We're just trying to find stuff. This is awesome. Aiming for him. Oh! This is wild. This is really cool. <laughs> this is so wild. This is really cool. So oh. the, this oh. is the only way to, oh. to get to Secret Beach. Yep. Like you have to do exactly what we're doing. All right. The famous bridge. So this used to like. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Got a church over here with some kids. Doing some stuff. I actually think that's where Lalo is. He said he was doing community service. Look at this. This used to be like like a dirt, barely even fit golf carts over at Bridge. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh, okay. It's about to get so rural. Yeah. Yep. Oh, these are real nice. Yeah, okay, okay. That's really good to see. That is good to see. There's, okay, Mara Laguna, farmhouse, people just chilling. Dude, this is great. Yeah, this is great. Definitely doesn't have like a third world vibe. No. But it, like, this is authentic, like, it's, like, you can get what you need, but you're, You can't finish a sentence! <laughs> it is hard, it's very different. I feel like I'm about to go play putt putt. Oh, that is true. Like, you can literally stop at each bar and be hammered by the time that you've got to Secret Beach. I mean, we've only been driving for like two minutes. Right, how many have we seen? Like seven? Oh, Eight? It's like every. Drink restaurants and bars. It's crazy. Dude, this thing is massive. Look at this building. Holy shit. This is like Vegas. And they have a spa. In a spa. Sure. Okay. Still going. Still going.
Yes, we're good. I got it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Jeez. Okay. It's not nearly as desolate as I thought it would be. Oh no. Right? Urgent you care. Okay. Okay. It's great to know. Pharmacy? Caribeville. Caribeville is very small. Yeah, hell yeah, look at this stuff. Oh, that's a spot. Let's go there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right, we're gonna go try this place. Why not? Lees and Shores? Ooh, more places. Okay. Okay, huge tip. Driving out to Secret Beach, it's really bumpy, and you probably had a bunch of coffee or water beforehand. You're gonna have to pee. At least halfway through this, you're gonna have to pee. Check this out. This place is awesome. It's a little bathroom stop that nobody really talks about. Bathrooms over there, right? So check here. Bathrooms here. So if you're looking for it, it's like probably seven or eight minutes past the bridge. And once you start seeing these colorful buildings, you are here. It is right in front of this moon sign. They've got shops over here. The Soul Cafe, that's what you want. Thank you, Soul Cafe. That's what you're looking for. Bathrooms. That way. Look at these bathrooms. I'm blown away at how clean these are. They're just super clean. There's not like a second seat or anything, but you just walk up to these little palapas, and there's bathrooms for you. Because it's a 40 minute, really, 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 really bumpy ride. So we thought we'd show you how bumpy it is while we come up on the secret beach line. This is no joke, folks. It is insane. My laptop's in the back. Hopefully she makes it through today, but man, this is great. Let's go. Let's go. Head now. It is definitely like, yeah, swamp land. I mean, I feel like being in a car would almost be worse because it's just like you are Being in a fast. car would be awful. And it's like, yes. you're just like, yeah, I'm like worried I'm gonna get thrown out of this thing. Turn the video off. We're just driving up to one of the plots right now, just to see. You know what, this is what basically people do. They either make two little casitas, yeah, or they do like one house like that. But yeah, this is... Cool. Tiny little tiny rooms. You can see the rain catchers and everything underneath them. So those are like... Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. That's solar on the roofs. All right, dude. Candid thoughts hey. so far. Well, it's 11:30, and I'm on my first pirate's punch. So we'll see how this <laughs> I'm just chilling right now. It's how was that drive out? Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was fine. I mean, a little bumpy, but. Not I too mean, long. It, no, and it was worth worth the payoff, so this place is awesome. And you can smell the food. It's <laughs> I'm so, so pumped. All right. Yeah, I think I see what people were talking about now. Definitely feel good about my choices. <laughs> What's your name, dude? Jonathan. Dude, this guy is so nice. And I'm just wondering, like, what do you... I bought land out here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm curious if you've noticed... This is like popping off. Like it seems like that's the um, what people say about it. But like you live here, you work here. Has it been more busy yeah, the man, past couple like, years? To be honest, it's changed. It's changed a lot recently in the years because like a lot of people are also like, investing in the island right now. So it's like maybe in a couple of years more, you'll see some of the residential homes back here. People was buying that because it's cheap right now. Like back then, you used to get like for five thousand the lease for a piece of acre. So now, now it's like seventy-five thousand. Yeah. Wow! Like, so wow! You can see, it's like, Okay, hold on a second, because what he just said is extremely valuable, and we're going to miss it because you have to know a few things to understand it. First of all, the Belize dollar is twice as much as the U.S. dollar. So if it's 50 Belize dollars, it's 25 U.S. What he just said was back then it was 5K Belize for an acre. Now it's 75,000 U.S., that doesn't translate. I wanted to stop and show you. What that really means is 
that if you spent 2500 US it's now worth 75,000 or if you spent 5000 Belize it's now worth 150,000 Belize it's a 30 bagger 30 times he didn't say what time frame he was talking about but based off of talking to my realtor who also bought land I'm guessing around 2016 so if you think 8 years a 30 bagger 30x damn go back and run the tape that's exactly what he just said now, like back then, you used to get like for 5,000 Belize for a piece of paper. So now, now it's like 75,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So wow. you can see, it's like every year it just goes up, goes up, goes up. So it's like maybe it's like I would say like it's an like equity or something you will just buy and invest. And if you don't want to build in it, then you just invest in it. And leave it there for a couple of years and you can put the money over yeah. and just build a nice vacation home, come for vacation or send a family friend or a retirement home, whatever the option is. Airbnb, whatever. But it's going, man. It's and this is, this is just your thoughts. This is not yeah. like you selling, no, no, I'm trying not to get people here. It's like, it's like more opportunities for us, more jobs, right. more customers coming in, continuing from the bars. And the you just noticed this? Yeah. yeah, man, it's getting busy. Every year it's getting busy. Getting busy. Hey, you're the fucking man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate yeah. you. Oh, oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect temperature, I can't even describe. It's like, just cool? Oh, yes please. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, here I'll we be go. Your neighbor, pretty much. Let's Layla, go. what's up, homie? All right. Here also, Layla's showing us around. This is a road. This is about to be a road like this at some point. And once it is a road, look at this random dog. There's just random dogs everywhere. Uh, so anyway, it's gonna be a road and my land is like right here. So it'll be the first one on the road. Hell yeah, let's go. So this is the size of my lot. It's not mine, but this is the size of what I've got right there in there. About 65 feet in. I'm gonna put one of these bad boys right in there. Let's go! <laughs> Layla, thank you, buddy. Everything Are you guys sold. selling a lot of these or what? What's going on around here? Oh, dude, everything's almost sold out. Secret Beach is actually one of the top destinations, so. You can't show me that map again, can you? Yes, can I, I put can. that on YouTube or, or no? I don't wanna like put you guys on blast, but he literally just showed us a map of what's left and what's been bought. It's insane. There's like not anything left. If I could show you something here, so being around your lot, so let me just show kind of show you this. So, pretty much all in blue is folks who already have financing, the reds are the ones that are sold, and then the pink ones are a couple of them that are available, or folks who pay, but then they fortunately they didn't come up like paying in their time. That's so, it. that's like oh, they're only it. That's yeah. like it. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, buddy. Anytime. Oh my god! What's happening? It's 9 a.m. Ah! <laughs> Buddy, what time is it? It's five o'clock somewhere, <laughs> but definitely not here. It's like 11 in the morning. It's raining. We just got power back. Our golf cart hasn't started yet today, but we got drinks. Let's go. We're at the swing bar, and this place is awesome. Look at this. You can like go right there, sit in the swing, overlook the water. They got like lobster cooking over here. I don't do a lot of seafood, but I can get down. Look at your boy Matty Potts over here, just finding sunscreen any way he can. Resourceful. Everybody's so nice out here. He's like, I'm gonna go ask him for sunscreen. I need it. Boom. New friends. All right, so a lot of people are asking me what I'm doing here. I bought land here in October. It, it, I was so frustrated 
with the inability to buy anything in the United States, I've been working my ass off as a self-employed person, and I don't know if you all know this, but when you're self-employed, they take your net income for the last two years, average it, and that's what you qualify for. Not all the money you made, all the money you made after all the expenses that you take. So I qualify for like nothing. I can get like a condo in America, and I was like, you know what? Why don't I get something elsewhere? I started looking around and this was a really good opportunity. So the reason I came out here was to put my eyes on the land that I bought. I might be the first person to buy land before even getting a passport. Buy land overseas. But fuck it, man. I, I'm not going to pay $9 million for a two-bedroom fucking house in the middle of nowhere. So here we are. I got land. I bought it for 50k four months ago. It's at 65k now. Let's go, cousin. Hey, buddy. What are we drinking in the ocean? <laughs> what are we assholes here? <laughs> We're back, baby. Let's go. Oh, jump, jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really don't think this thing's like. Oh my god. Are you sure we can't stop the golf yeah, cart? No, no, we definitely can't stop. It. <laughs> Oh my god. Somehow we'll get back to the airport tomorrow. We're not gonna worry about it. Oh, got that thing going. Dude, oh, she knew what was like, up. She's an island like like OG. She's like, I know what to do. Alright, we're good. Back to that back to drinking. Yeah, she was like sunset. Power. Where are we going? Doesn't seem like much of a This is the end of like... Secret Beach. Yeah. This is the last one on the left. But it's got everything. Massage? Wow. Shot? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll take Complimentary massage. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the sunset begins. So this place has like a pool or like a hot tub. I don't know what this is. This is like the corner of Secret Beach. So like to the left, straight out. The rest of Secret Beach is all out that way. Everything is that way. There's pretty much nothing that way. So this is the end of Secret Beach. Dude, we made it. We made it. This is awesome. We got a little pool here. Okay. It's the sunset bar. I'm feeling this. Yeah. This is way more chill. So like if there's people out here, and I've seen them on YouTube saying like, don't come to Belize, it's all just loud music everywhere and you can't fucking relax and any of that. I mean, I can barely hear that music over there. Yes, I can hear it, but like you're at the beach, like you should be able to hear something, but it's not overpowering here. This is a nice little out of the way spot. Very chill on the corner. If you're looking for this, if you're looking for chill, this is the spot for sure, absolutely. Look at this baby pool. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me get out of this way. I don't want to get this kid on camera. Look at this baby pool. Are you serious? Even though he's adorable. <laughs> wow, it's just a tiny little baby pool. Okay. Oh, everybody's so nice. Everybody's just been very nice. This bar? Yeah. Oh, this is like... Never seen no, I would have never known. Like, Secret like, Beach is all been. that. You, how did you find this? I read about it. Sunset what bar? Yeah, Sunset Palace. Okay, Sunset Palace. Yeah, dude, this is legit. Like, if you want to get away from all of the, like, right. touristy stuff, yeah, this is just hang out on the corner, and then there's nothing over here except for this house. Shit, how much is that land worth? Right? Really I met these two on the plane. They were next to me. Come here, you two. Come here. Come here. Hello, Hi. hello. Toronto. What do we think about Belize so far? I love it. Should we buy here? Yes. Why? It's amazing. It's good for couples and families. How do you compare it to the Maldives? It, it, you, spent, you spent 10 grand in four days at the Maldives, and then you came here and spent how much? In a third. Three or four days? A third. A third. A third. And you had a great wait, 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 really? Yes. That's what she said. Yes. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You spent a third of what you spent on the Maldives. Yeah. Similar experience? Not, not much worse? I mean, it's not the worst. The, as in like the water quality and everything, I would say it's the same. Okay. Uh, but I stayed in an all-inclusive. Okay. And this is like a bread of, I mean, it's Airbnb, right? So. Okay. And you feel like you got the same amount of quality here for a third of the price? Yeah, I mean, I stayed at a water bungalow in Maldives. I'm 
staying at a water bungalow. Dude, they're on A frames, like on the water. You gotta, it's insane. All right, we're leaving. My guy is fucked up. All right. Hey, no drinking <laughs> and driving. <laughs> <laughs> we have had some drinks. It's been awesome. Hold on. Cuz, hold on. All right. All right, we're leaving. It's our last day and we've had a blast. We've talked to a lot of people. I'm thankful that you've been a part of this. I am hammered. I've had a great, have you had a good time? You've been sleeping for the past two hours. Have you had a good I time? Or like, what is like, I have been passed out for the last two hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're hammered. We're having a great time. But it, even if you weren't hammered, I really do think that you could have some fun here. Like there's not, it's not like you just have to get you kind of have to get fucked up. Well, yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, there's not a lot to do between noon and you eat 6 p.m. Why is it my shirt? Are you bringing my white shirt? Oh my God, she's bringing my white shirt. Go, Rex, give me some love. I love this place, man. Fuck it. <laughs>